Hey YouTube, JW. Got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five folders I want to show you guys today. All of them are not necessarily, uh, you know, I don't always have high quality stuff by a lot of people's standards, but most of the time it's pretty unusual. And that's what I like. And some of these are actually um, pretty underrated and uh, prices vary. Um, I'll start off with a couple of rigid knives and two different ones here. This one is Japan made and uh, like I said the prices vary on this. I think I paid 35 for this. How to operate your RG15. But I've seen a guy, I've seen him upwards, you know, around $80. <clears throat> Very high quality. Um, nice fit and finish. Interesting lock mechanism and release mechanism on this knife. Uh, probably from. Uh, the 90s I would say early 90s most likely um, very high quality super rock solid lock up I mean and then it has a has a lock mechanism here that slides up and down I like that logo on there And then to release the knife, you push this shield in, and that closes it. Like I said, super high quality. This is a new old stock knife. And it is, let's see here. We're looking at eight inches overall length. Super high quality collectible knife from Rigid Japan. Now we'll take a look at a Rigid that is not so collectible from China. Um, this is about the era um, when this was new old stock as well. Uh, let's see, let's see any uh, United Cutlery got a hold of rigid at this point in time and started making the knives in China so this one is not near as good a quality as that rigid is and it's not very collectible I got this for I think 20 bucks but it is kind of cool um, max edge rigid and I forget what they call this. It's a roll lock twist. Twist the knob. And it locks open. So yeah, you're moving well into the 90s with this. Um, made in China. Yeah. Pocket clip. half serrated blade which was really popular in the 90s as well it's just a liner lock here um, but I thought it was just kind of cool with the box um, and with the roll roll open design so you've got two knives same brand but 
much. <laughs> Look how beefy this one is. Look how thin this one. I mean, this thing is a chunk, heavy duty knife. Um. Next, we got a Myrco knife. Made in the USA. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Myrco. Uh, now, this is an older one. It was new old stock made by uh, Blackie Collins, who designed many classic knife designs. Who passed away a few years ago. Worked for Gerber and other companies, but he, uh, you know, famous for, probably most famous for the bolt action. Uh, maybe the Frisco Shiv for Gerber. But he made some high quality knives for Myrco as well. Uh, this one is made in the USA. And uh, this with like the strut and cut kind of was uh, some standouts from the 90s. I liked Blackie because he always had interesting knives. And um, you know this does have 154 cm blade steel so um, you know, I think I paid $26 for this ship 27 I think and it's like a roll open design you gotta push and push the button in and I'm gonna tell you this little blade here you know it's it's not a very big knife I also forgot to measure this other one here real quick. It's just, uh, uh, this one was seven and a half inches, so just a standard size, getting, you know, large folder. This one here is a little bit smaller, looking at about six inches on this guy, so not that big and it's light pocket clip I mean real light this probably only weighs oh I don't know three ounces maybe somewhere around there <clears throat> super fucking sharp I mean whoops sorry I didn't mean to cuss sorry about that it is darn sharp Let's see. Look at that. You can see it. Look at it. It's like a frickin' razor blade, man. It's like a scalpel. Honestly, it's probably one of the the blade design it looks like a full flat grind but um which makes it really sharp anyway but uh it's one of the sharpest out of the box knives i've ever seen you know up there with cold steel and uh it is 154 cm so you know it's a pretty good blade steel so yeah, so this is kind of one of those that you could look for um, that is a really good, nice little knife um, for not a lot of money that most people don't know about. Uh, we got another kind of one that I saw for sale for a while. Nobody was picking it up. Price got dropped, so I grabbed it. Classic. Uh, probably 80s uh, Japan not really branded um, kind of unusual um, looks like a frost wood does have the stud on here so you're probably looking at uh, late 80s I would think um, MX42 it says uh, surgical steel Japan brass kind of an interesting design got the fat like a bear head and here uh, design and patent Japan just says the MX 42 but I thought it looked kind of neat 
I like the overall design of the knife and the and the scales. So we got seven inches on this as well. So um, you got a leather sheath here. You're in belt sheath realm here, like a buck folder. And then I say maybe not the best. Uh, the highest quality one out of this bunch is, is uh, that Rigid Japan for sure. But this one is my favorite and it's probably right up there with it. Um, if you just talk about it, it doesn't seem like anything really too special. Um, they come with this camo sheath. I didn't get the box. Like a, a katana wrap. Uh, Tonto uh, Wakasashi wrap handle, cast metal, um, looks like something that Parker or Frost or Japan, somebody like that, that would have been popular in the 1980s. It is just a, um, it's like a Quaken knife. Um, it's not the Boker Quaken, I mean like, you know, it's, it's a non-locking folding Tonto a little Japanese guy there I don't know what that says but it's a Smoky Mountain Knife Works uh, knife the logo here serial numbered from Japan um, I saw a guy get one of these you know I can't remember what his name was off the top of my head if he sees this video he'll know who he is he uh, got one of these at a knife show about a year ago, and I think I recall even asked him if he wanted to sell it. He had the box, and he didn't want to sell. So I've been keeping my eye out for him ever since, and I've never seen one until a week or so ago. Got to come up with two new old stock ones minus the box. So uh, I got one, and my good buddy grab the other one so pretty cool people went wild for this thing on Instagram for some reason so it apparently is uh, you know it looks sweet it's just a cool knife you know and it's a it's a big big long stabby holding knife yeah, you're looking at nine inches there so um, so it's just something that um, probably wasn't very expensive when it was new but as with a lot of my knives uh, there ain't many around anymore and they're not easy to get so therefore they are pretty valuable and this is a prime example of one of those things pretty sharp blade steel is just Japanese surgical steel same as always mid 80s uh, little side note here this dude on here the samurai um, I think this was just called the samurai Tonto same logo same guy as uh, on my frost Japan samurai side lock exactly the same image on the box and it's about the same size knife maybe a little bit bigger but uh, I'm a collector of 1980s uh, martial arts nostalgia, 70s and 80s, 90s, even in the early 90s. Ninja, Sam, stuff like that. So this was right up my alley. And uh, like I said, I've been waiting on one of these for quite a while. So I was happy when it popped up. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I get a lot of knives in and as many as I get in and sometimes it's hard for me to come up with ideas on videos of what I want to show yeah, I used to do the new arrival videos I don't do that that much anymore um, but I just thought you know I had just kind of a group here of uh, all kind of different and uh, different things here but all interesting nonetheless so I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, subbing my channel. 
hitting the like, all that stuff. You, uh, I'll put a link to my Instagram below. And uh, stay tuned, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.